not trapped in here with them. They're trapped in here with him. Willie's Wonderland. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. <laughs> And uh, we're talking about another Nicolas Cage film. Uh, you guys know I'm a big fan of uh, Nicolas Cage movies. And we were talking about uh, some of the other ones like Mandy and everything like that. So Screen Media presents uh, Willie's Wonderland. I read about this film some time ago and uh, it got postponed a lot. Uh, it really just kept getting pushed, kept getting pushed. I wasn't uh, sure if it was going to go in the theater or if it was just going to go straight to a, a Blu-ray or a DVD or, or whatnot. So um, when I finally, I, I kept track of it. Uh, I kept trying to, you know, keep track of it, see where where things were going with it and all that. So um, interesting enough, it finally did uh, have a release date. And everything so I was getting really excited of course with the whole pandemic it uh, definitely pushed that a little bit so um, with I was kept tracking it kept tracking it uh, when it finally came out I was just uh, it um, it was available on uh, Amazon Prime for a little while like uh, well it still is but it was available you could rent it first before you could actually get the hard media of it the hard copy um, I didn't want to do that I, I felt like I, I definitely wanted to own it so and uh, I'm glad I held out and uh, I did pre-order it with Amazon uh, that's how I got it because I wasn't going to take the chance of it um, going over to Target or whatever and trying to find it and then not finding it. Um, I didn't want to get get into that, and which I already went through that um, kind of you know fiasco. So I I pre-ordered it. Um, I got mine for like twenty two bucks, and it had overnight jumped to thirty bucks for the Blu-ray. Uh, you can get the DVD variation uh, of it. Uh, so it's uh, I think it's 20 bucks for that one. But uh, anyway, in a nutshell, let's get to it. <laughs> Willie's Wonderland. It, it was under a different title, but I think they went with Willie's because it was something with the original title. Um, so it is a they classify it under action comedy horror. Um, Nicolas Cage basically just roaming around and gets a flat tire uh, busts his car up or something like that really fancy sports car these people say oh well we can fix it and all that but oh we don't take credit card we take cash only but i tell you what you don't have cash we can work out a deal if you work at willie's wonderland overnight clean the place up in the morning we'll have your car fixed seems kind of strange um now the other thing that's strange is this Nicolas Cage doesn't say a word in the movie. He has no dialogue. Um, he is, if you look at this film, it's like, it's almost like a Western. It's almost like one of those Clint Eastwood's drifter kind of thing going through like a high plains drifter, pale rider kind of thing. So, but he has no dialogue. He's just a drifter that comes through this little uh, small sleepy town that they it's this dark cloud that weighs over the the town about Willie's Wonderland and Willie's Wonderland is plagued by demonic uh mascot uh little like i guess you could say uh animatronics uh big old like stuffed uh, doll things of um, these characters you got like a weasel you got an ostrich a turtle and you know the gorilla it's interesting um so the uh, what happened was the Willies has a previous uh, crazy people that owned it that started it. They were a bunch of serial killers and uh, bad people that uh, ended up drinking Kool Aid and doing some kind of satanic uh, ritual and sending their spirits, their souls, into these these mascot doll animatronic things. So uh, it's like this curse, and the, this new guy that owns it, Tex. Uh, he, you know, he kind of offers people as sacrifices, uh, on, you know, that go in there. And what they do is they set up the road and people get damaged in their vehicles. And then that's how they trap them. And then they obviously say, hey, well, you know, we'll fix it for you if you stay tonight here at Willie's and fix it up. And that's what they kind of, 
you know, that's what they do. They kind of feed people to this place, and uh, these little these creatures, I shouldn't say little, they're, they're creatures come alive, and they, you know, tear them up and everything. So, meantime, you got this group of kids that are, they know about the secret, or at least the one girl's more cognizant of it. Um, she's just really trying to get in there and, um, you know, stop it all and i think she's trying to burn the place down but then the sheriff stops her and then the, there's a weird little uh weird story between the sheriff and her and how they're you know kind of strange and everything so they they got a, all the everybody in this town has this weird like thing they they're hiding this beast this dark thing in the closet so um anyway back to the nut job you know that uh, we all know and love from Nicholas Cage. Now, I'll be the first guy to say it. I love Mandy. Mandy is one of the most whack job movies I've ever seen with him. Um, but, you know, this one's definitely pretty close up there, too. He's definitely weird in it. Uh, you never, ex it never explains exactly who he is, what he is, what he's doing. Um, he has this timer on his watch, and every so often when it goes off, he has to drink these interesting looking energy drinks <laughs> that are clearly just uh you know you could see the prop house was just they made this stuff up on their lunch break with the label <laughs> so but it's kind of strange he's got to drink the drink and then he goes and plays the little uh, pinball machine until he either finishes the drink or his buzzer on his watch goes off again and he he's done he's ready to go so he goes back and he's cleaning up places and then he's battling these animatronic uh, mascots uh you know in the bathroom he's fighting them off and he's really working them over i mean he just absolutely goes crazy now one thing that i thought was interesting is uh, unlike mandy where as he's brutalizing these things and going through um as the you know he gets soiled and dirty with all the the animatronic blood for say uh, he cleans himself up, gets a new shirt, which he's wearing these uh, Willy's Wonderland t-shirts through it. So he changes, you know, it's just like it's almost like a whole new like level. It's like a level like in a video game or something. All of a sudden it, it ends, shows him putting a new shirt on. He's all cleaned up again. His hair is fine again, and he's just back cleaning. And then another one tries to take over and, and you know, kill him again. So it's just strange. Um the uh, the whole thing kind of starts to come together in the end where you know you got the sheriff she's going back over there because the the girl is you know she's in there she's trying to you know help him get out of there because she wants to burn the place down and uh, so you know they're she's kind of letting him in know about all the history on the thing and mind you like this whole time he doesn't say a word he doesn't talk at all he's just he's silent doesn't talk at all he just i don't know it's kind of strange i start thinking like is he gonna seriously go through this whole movie and not say a word and yeah sure enough so yeah um it wasn't a letdown i don't regret buying it um if you're if you like these kind of films i uh, i know some people they just they're they totally don't get it um for me it's like these are just these hidden little gem of movies that are just totally nutso, um, outrageous, makes no sense, but just a good old time. And I, I do like these kind of movies. That's why I collect them. Um, so this one's definitely right up there. If you're going to do the full Nicolas Cage, like uh, strange whack job kind of films, I mean, you definitely got to say, you got to put Mandy in there, uh, Color Out of Space, Mom and Dad, and now Willie's Wonderland. So absolutely something to behold so if you want to go in there and uh watch this film and watch nicholas cage clean clean up a uh, uh an amusement park kind of thing and uh go into urinals and battle a, a big animatronic gorilla and curb stomp him into the urinal the uh, willie's wonderland is probably for you so i know some of you like my buddy over there joe i know you enjoyed mandy uh, Joe, I think you're going to really like Willie's Wonderland. <laughs>
<laughs> so, um, yeah, I didn't want to really give away too much of it, but there's not a whole lot to really, uh, you know, you don't really have to use much brain power to, um, you know, watch it and everything. And it's, of course, it's got its usual uh, yuppie teenagers doing the wrong, stupid things and, uh, you know, getting themselves off. And, of course, you got the one heroic one and, you know, <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. Uh, Willie's Wonderland. Uh, you got, you know, very strange characters, like I said. Uh, so, and of course, you know, in the end, he has to fight Willie, in or in other words, the weasel. <laughs>